What's up there, fellas out there? This is Simon32336. I am going to be showing you some really cool apps that you can do with this NVIDIA Shield TV. One, this is the latest update. And as you can see, everything looks pretty different. You get the sealed accessories that looks like something like these. Yes, I got two. The controller looks like it's about to die, so I'm going to put that on charge eventually, and I'm talking through it right now. You can fill quick guide, show you what that looks like. See, that's what the controller looks like. Hope you guys like that. You can see I'm recording with the built in screen recorder by holding down the home button. And you can record and all that stuff. Looks pretty cool. You can take screenshots, you can change the settings, change all the other jazz. You can say this stuff and turn it on and off. Really cool. You can do power from here because this thing doesn't have a power button so yeah you get your Wi-Fi you get your settings now settings I'm not really a big fan of how it's on the right side and not the left but uh, it's still good you can add accounts to Google so you have these two video accounts and stuff so usage you can check too so that's another cool thing you can turn this on or off now security you can actually add a unknown sources on and you can actually verify apps and buy get apps that aren't supported. Now, if we go down to or up to home screen, you can see you can set which apps to show up on the game roll. And you can order games on apps, so it's kind of cool. You get a keyboard. You can choose which keyboard you want to choose. Of course, I'm going with uh, the current. You can choose which kind of current you want. I'm just going to stay lean back. Because that's actually the easiest. And sorry about the background noise. You can set your uh, Google Cast that comes with it. Apps. And system. System just tells you what LED brightness you should do. And you can do auto to max performance compatibility mode. And all that other jazz. And yeah. Let's see what system actually have here. When TV turns off. Do not ever do that. Because it can glitch your stuff and never turn it back on. Uh, here's all my apps. If you can slow down, you can pause to see the video. And yes, there is YouTube built into here. Display and sound, you can choose the volume. Resolution, we can change to 4K at 150 hertz to 200 and something hertz. That makes it a little bit faster. So as you can see, it's a little slower. I'm just going to press cancel. And now it's like smoother, as you can see. So I'm not sure why we would have done that. Just showing you some stuff. And if you go to the network, you can connect just like any other network. And here's mine. So, yeah, you can use, also use Ethernet, as you can see from here. And it's really easy. What you have to do is also you get the Play Store built into this. And you can go to YouTube, TV, and all that other jazz. You can even use Google Play Music. So, what the only downside about it is you can't browse Google. Only way you can browse Google is you go to the Play Store. Yeah, that's how apps open. They're pretty amazing. And you go down to search or up to search, and you can speak into it, and it'll come up with all your chats and all that, as you can see. But I just cancel that. So you can also do the chat with the keyboard. As you can see, I got my keyboard here. And if you hook up a nice mouse, you can actually use your mouse as a mouse, as you can see. So let's let's say something that might look be good. Internet browser. Internet browser. And you see, you get some choices. And then you go over to my apps. It should say purchase and all this other jazz. You can update these. I'm going to update the music. So you see, you get updates, full description, stuff like that. Let's press update. And as you can see, it's the usual apps, the usual Google Home stuff. You can update all from here. And yeah, that's what I got. Asphalt 8 runs pretty decent. Jurassic DS emulator runs Epic 2. You can even get Facebook on here if you wanted to. So let's try some uh, Facebook. I haven't signed in yet, so you might have to see me pause the video for a few seconds. And sorry about that random thing up here. That's just a little screw recording thing, so I don't that it works. So see, I got the login screen. So I'm going to go to Facebook. So what happens if I go to login? 
continue to Facebook. He's telling me to sign in like that. Or you can go to your videos and look up search search videos. Just type in what you want. So I'll search my name. Or you can just, you know, exit. Search up Siren Fuel Ship Way on Facebook. Facebook can't be searched. As you see, it doesn't want to work. So, yeah, kind of weird. Let me put the volume on my uh, TV because I can't find my TV remote for some weird reason. So, I'm going to look for that. So, you guys can hear what it sounds like. Where the heck did I put that remote? Here we go. Now, you can hear the remote. The sound effects actually are really cool. So, yeah, you also get another remote. Kind of like a controller. This one, I don't really recommend. Simon Friel Shipway. And I see all my videos will come up. You can view more. You can see all the videos I made. And some other cool jazz. Like, these are all on YouTube. As you can see from the tab saying YouTube. But, otherwise, yeah, this is what it looks like. Hope you guys like it. Check out my YouTube. And, peace. And see, it opens up the YouTube app. Yeah. You can multitask. Like that. And, etc. Hope you guys like this video. Double digit thousand. <laughs>